guys, it's Sarah, and I'm here to do a little um, ebook bookshelf tour, I guess you could say. So I wanted to show you what's on my Kindle. I do have a lot on here, so I'll just talk pretty briefly about them. But um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I just haven't sat down and done it. But um, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you. I do have the Kindle Paperwhite. I don't think it's the newest edition. I think I got this um, maybe a year or so or more ago. So I don't think this is the newest, newest edition, but it's it's fairly new. Um, but I'm going to zoom in here and um, show you what I have on my Kindle and how I have it set up. Okay, so um, I did have to, I kind of have to angle it a little bit because my light is reflecting off the screen so I don't want you guys to not be able to see it. But the way that I have my Kindle set up is that I have them mostly in the beginning I have some collections so I have like series of books if I have a series of books or if I have multiple books from the same author I will bundle those together as well so anything in my collections is either a series or an author so uh, the first one right here is Archie and Gretchen and those are the um, let's see I think the first one is called uh, Heartsick I believe let's look and see there's six books in here <laughs> um, Yes, Heartsick is the first one. And this is a series that my mother has gotten me into or told me I need to read. I haven't started it yet. But it is about a um, detective who is a male and he is hunting a female serial killer. And then he ends up kind of becoming obsessed with her and falling in love with her. And I think they actually form a relationship. Um, so it sounds really, really interesting. That's something I want to start getting to here soon. But I do have all of them whenever I'm ready to start reading them. Um, and those are by Chelsea Kane. Okay, uh, Arjuno Vampires is a vampire series that I really, really love. I have three in there that I need to read, and those are the most recent three, and I think we are up to book number 24 already, so <laughs> these are the most recent three that I need to read. Um, these are written by Lindsay Sands, and they are really kind of guilty pleasure for me, I guess. Um, it's just a fun vampire series and um, very adult, so warning on that, but very good. The Black Dagger Brotherhood is another one as well. I have read the first book in that, and I think it's called Dark Lover, um, but I have 12 of the books. <laughs> There's more than that now, but I do have the first 12 here, so I can go ahead and start reading them. Um, I did read the first one, but I need to reread it in order to get back into the series, but I really did um, enjoy the first one. The Bronze Horseman series by um, Paulina Simons, and those are, I think, a historical fiction. There's three books in that. It's a trilogy. Um, Kara McKenna is an author that I enjoy. Um, she does write adult um, erotic content. <laughs> so, um, but I have read a couple of hers and I have really liked her writing a lot. So I have um, seven of her books here. Colleen Hoover, I have four of her books. She's pretty popular. So let's see which ones I have in here. I don't even remember. Um, Ugly Love, which I have read and absolutely loved. Finding Cinderella, which is a novella from... Um, losing hope or hopeless yes hopeless um I'm not sure if I'm going to read that or not I don't I'm trying not to read too many like different perspective stories so I don't know it's on there if I want it but we'll see um never never part one of three which is something that she did uh with Karen Fisher um there's three parts to it and I think they're all released now I only have the first one because it came up for free so I went ahead and got it and then maybe someday which I have not read yet Okay, so those are my Colleen Hoover books on my Kindle. Um, the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. I have not started that, but I have, I think, almost all of them. Um, Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I have not decided if I'm going to read that yet or not. I'm leaning towards no, unless um, anyone tries to change my mind. But I still have them here just in case. <laughs> Uh, the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. That is my sister's favorite book series, and I've heard really good things about it, so I may try to dive in here one of these days. The Dresden Files, which is, um, I read book number 11 just last month and really loved it. Um, I do have them on my Kindle. I am listening to the audiobooks instead, but sometimes I like to follow along on how far I am along in my Kindle as well. Um, Edelweiss is a review site that is very, very difficult to navigate. I actually don't get on there very often, but I do have one book from there that um, I need to read that I'm actually planning to read this month. Um, but any review, like review sites or anything, I kind of keep them all together too. 
the end of day series by Susan E and which is an angel angel series I believe about angels the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. I have the first three. I believe there's four out now, so I haven't grabbed the fourth one yet, but I haven't started it yet either, so I want to start it first before I decide if I'm going to get the fourth one. The Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning. This is like, um, let's see, what are these called? I know they have fever. Um, the first one is Dark Fever, Blood Fever, Fay Fever, Dream Fever, Shadow Fever, um, just kind of all those. Those are, I've heard are very, very good um, and like, just kind of guilty pleasure addicting from what I'm hearing as well. I just haven't started it yet. <laughs> uh, Gilliam Flynn. I think the only one I have on here is Darkest, yeah, Dark Places. That's the only one I haven't read from her. I have not read this one, and I have not read her short one called The Grown Up. Those are the only two from her I have not read yet. Um, Harlan Coben, my mom gave me a couple of these books. She loves him. Um, so I have Tell No One, Gone for Good, Deal Breaker, and The Woods. And... Um, so those are ones that my mom has said she really enjoyed. Uh, the Jack Daniel series by J.A. Conrath. I have actually read all these, most of them. Um, it's a series that came out a, a few years ago, actually quite a few years ago. I read them when we were living in San Antonio. So that was probably 2008, 2009. And I really kind of sped read through them. They are really good detective and kind of um, graphic as far as gruesome goes so not really sexual but like you know violence and stuff pretty graphic but I absolutely loved it um Jack Daniels is a female detective and um each book is named after a drink so for example there's um Rum Runner and Cherry Bomb, Fuzzy Navel, Dirty Martini, Rusty Nail, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Whiskey Sour. So just kind of stuff like that. And there's 10 of them. And he just had a couple of um, new ones come out just this year. So that's something I actually want to reread the entire series and kind of get back into it and then read the new ones. So that's something I want to do. Jack Reacher, I have um, 12 of those. I know there's more than that, but those are the ones that I have on here. And those are written by Lee Child. I've not started that yet either. <laughs> Uh, James Patterson, I actually, um, I think, let's see, what do I have on here? I have a couple of the Alex Cross books on here, but then I also have um, a couple of books from his Women's Detective series, which I've heard is very good too. His books, I tend to listen on audio versus reading them. Um, the audio books are great, so that's why I don't have too many. Um, Jodi Picot is one of my favorite authors of all time, so I have quite a few things of hers. Um... I have Small Great Things, which is her newest one. Um, I have Larger Than Life, which is a novella that I read, Leaving Time, Where There's Smoke, which is a short story, Perfect Match, Picture Perfect, Salem Falls, Second Glance, Will, Songs of the Humpback Whale, and The Tenth Circle. So those are Jodi Picot books I have on here. Um, Kylie Scott is another adult erotica um, author that my sister enjoys, and I have not read anything from her yet, but those are... Um, I picked up a couple that my sister had said she liked. Uh, Leanne Moriarty, and what do I have on here? What Alice Forgot is what I have on here, and then I have a few of her other books on my bookshelf. Lauren Conrad, um, I have L.A. Candy and Sugar and Spice, and that's book one and three in one of her um, trilogies here. Um, the Mara Dyer trilogy, I have all three books here, and um, I've heard that one's really good. Uh, Megan Hart is another adult um, author, and I've read a couple of things of hers that I liked. I have a couple of Neil Gaiman books here, and I have The Ocean at the End of the Lane and American Gods. American Gods is actually being made into a... I don't think it's a movie. Is it a Netflix series, maybe? Or maybe a limited edition, like a limited time series or something? Something like that. So I need to read that. <laughs> Um, I have some NetGalley books as well. These are books I have gotten from NetGalley to review. I have 20 of them in there. Um, Nightwalkers is kind of a paranormal um, series. I read the first one a while ago, and I remember enjoying it. I didn't absolutely love it, but I want to give it another shot. Okay, so I have the North and South series, which is... Um, written by John Jakes. They're very, 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 very old. <laughs> um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the North and South miniseries that had Patrick Swayze in it, but that's kind of um, 
what the, that was what these books were based off of. It's really good. It's about literally um, the North and South Civil War. Very, very good. Um, so I have those books. I've never read them, but I really love the miniseries a lot. Like I watched it over and over and I would still watch it today if it were on. Um, but very good. So there's three books in that. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I have five of those books. Um, I think there's more than that out now. I just don't have them all on my Kindle, but I am listening to those on audiobook instead. I'm checking them out from the library and doing that. But um, I still have them on my Kindle so I can follow along. Rainbow Rowell. Let's see which ones I have on here. Um, Eleanor and Park and Attachments. So I have those two. And then uh, The Raven Cycle by Maggie Steve Otter. I'm listening to those on audio as well. I listened to the first one and it was just okay for me. So I need to listen to the second one and see if I want to keep going. But I do have um, the first three books on here. There is a fourth one, but I just don't have that one yet. The Remnant Chronicles. Um, this is by Mary E. Pearson. This is The Heart of Betrayal and The Kiss of Deception. And then I think, what is the last one called? Um... I don't remember, but the third one I think is out already and I don't remember uh, the name of it. Um, but I've heard very, very, very good things about that one. That's a fantasy series, I believe. Um, and then here I just have review books that I've already read. So if I read them and I want to keep them, then I just kind of stick them in this folder here. Uh, Robo Galbraith. Um, I have The Silkworm, which I actually have on my bookshelf too, so I could probably just get rid of that. <laughs> um, the Rosie Project, and that's by uh, Graham, um, I don't remember his last name. Let's see if it says it here. Sim Simsian? Graham Simsian? Yeah. Um, so that's The Rosie Project and The Rosie Effect. I've heard those were good. Uh, the Shatter Me series, I have the second two, which I need to read, which are Unravel Me and Ignite Me. I need to read those. I want to. That'll finish off the trilogy. Uh, Sophie Kinsella. I have Cocktails for Three, which is written under Madeline Wickham, which is her actual name. Um, Can You Keep a Secret, Remember Me, 20s Girl, and Wedding Night. I love her writing. I think she's um, she's funny. The Stormlight Archives, um, those are written by Brandon Sanderson, and that, I believe, is the, um, the Way of Kings and the Words of Radiance. Those are very, very long, so I did pick those up on my Kindle. Um, Sue Grafton, she writes a mystery series called, um, it's the alphabet one. So like A is for alibi, B is for burglary, C is for corpse. And um, she's going all the way through Z. I think her newest release recently was X. So she has two more at least coming. And this is, um, follows a detective named Kenzie Malone, I believe is her name. I read the first one and really enjoyed it, so I will continue to read those. Obviously, I would have a lot to read, but um, I did read the first one and I liked it, so I do want to continue. Tall, Dark, and Dangerous is a series that is written by, I believe, um, Suzanne Brockman. Yeah, Suzanne Brockman. And I'm pretty sure this follows military... Um, kind of hero, military hero type people. Um, all of her main characters are military members and they kind of go through different stuff. Uh, I have not started the series yet, so I'm not sure um, if I'm going to like it, but we'll see. Uh, Temperance Brennan is the book series that the show Bones is based off of, and that is written by Kathy Wrights. Uh, Travis McGee is another kind of detective thing, and uh, my mom recommended it to me and I did read the first one and I did enjoy it. Um, it has a lot of funny writing in it so I will continue on that. I just haven't done it yet. And Troubleshooters is another one by uh, Suzanne Brockman and it's another military type thing. Um, I believe these are a little bit more adult in content um, but I did read the first one and really liked it. Victoria Schwab. Let's see what I have of hers here. Um, Vicious, A Darker Shade of Magic, The Archived, and The Unbound. Um, those are a lot of the books that she has written. <laughs> um, almost all of them except The Savage Song. I have not picked that one up yet, but I haven't read anything by her yet and I really want to. So I have them. I just need to pick them up. And the Winner's Series, which is the Winner's Curse and the Winner's Kiss and the Winner's um, Crime, I think is the second one. And then Winner's Kiss is the third one, I believe. I don't have the Winner's Kiss yet, but this is something I'd like to get into. I've heard really good things about it as well. 
Okay, so those are all my um, series and collections, and now let's get into just the standalones or and whatever it is I have on here. So I'll just, um, I won't talk about the books, I'll just give you the titles and go because we're only on page 7 of 20. So, let's go. Okay, Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris, Once Gone by Blake Pierce, Walking Disaster by Jamie McGuire, which is um, book number two in a series. I don't know if I have the first one or not. We'll have to see. Uh, the Broken Way by Anne Voskamp, which um, I just did a review on, but I also got an e-copy of it from the publisher as well, so that was kind of nice. I had two different copies. Everything We Keep by Carrie Lonsdale, which I read and absolutely loved. The Last of the Fire Drakes, which I got for review as well by uh, Thera Omerboy. Um, who was Harry Houdini? That's my daughter's, actually. That was the book she was reading for school. A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. Short stories from Hogwarts. Um, I have, I think there's four of them. There's one, two, three. There was three of them, sorry. Um, those were by J.K. Rowling. Those just recently got published. Not Quite the Fairy Tale Bundle by Mary Sage. Fame by Jillian Dodd. Jesus on Forgiveness by Joseph B. Healy. A Woman's Guide to Hearing God's Voice by Leanne McCoy. Addicted to You by Krista Ritchie, which is the very first book in the Addicted series, which I've heard very good things about. The Consequences box set, so I have all the Consequences books in one by Althea Romig. Royal by Winter Renshaw. Enchanting Wilder by Cassie Graham. That was actually sent to me by the author. Zenith by Sasha Osberg, and this one is actually the part one part, and I think that they are actually getting the entire thing published in one go, so I may wait on this and actually, like, until the entire thing comes out, read the whole thing, but we'll see, but I do have it on here. One Mountain at a Time by Michael um, Guerre, and he is actually the father of a friend of mine that I was stationed with when we were in Tucson, so I picked that up as soon as she told me her dad had published a book. Like by Bart Hopkins, who was an Air Force um, member, and he wrote a book, so I wrote that, or I got that. <laughs> um, I have them sitting in on here, but I think that was something that either my mom or my sister bought, and I don't know how it got onto my Kindle. We do share an account, um, so something happened there, but um, I do have the uh, Lux series on my bookshelf. Hidden Deep by Amy Patrick. Safe Distance by Megan Green. Um, Fresh Bone, or Fresh Breath, sorry, by Alan L Lalonde. I don't know how to say that. Alan Lalonde. Tropical Depression by Jeff Lindsay. Red Tide by Jeff Lindsay. Those are actually two books in a series. I don't know if there's going to be more or not, but um, he is the same author that wrote the Dexter series that I really loved, so I'm excited to start a new one from him. Um, but I probably need to put those into a um, collection. The Housewife Assassin's Handbook by Josie Brown, Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rush, which is the second book in the Snow Like Ashes series, The Fairy Guardian by Rachel Morgan, The Fringe Hours by Jessica Turner, Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman, The Island by Ellen Hildebrand, The Passage by Justin Cronin, which is book number two in the Passage series, Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan, Nosferatu by Joe Hill, Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, we Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, which is book number two in the Miss Peregrine series. More Happy Than Not by Adam, Adam Silvera. The Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson, which is part of the Miss Bourne series. Half Bad by Sally Green. The Mirror by Marlis Milheiser. Nearly Gone by El Cosimano. Old Man's War by John Scalzi. The Gifts of Imperfection by Breen Brown. Exquisite Captive by Heather Demetrios, Age of X01, Game Board of the Gods by Rochelle Mead, The Chimes by Anna Smale, The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings, Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane, The Complete Fifty Shades of Alice by Melinda Duchamp, which is kind of a fairy tale take on Fifty Shades of Grey, I think, and that's written actually by J.A. Conrath. He used a pen name for this, but um, it's supposed to be pretty funny and smutty, and I'm, I'm excited to read it. <laughs> the Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, which is book number two in the Queen of the Tearling series. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. The Stranger Beside Me by Anne Rule, which is actually a nonfiction about Ted Bundy. Um, Anne Rule actually um, personally knew him, so she wrote a book about it. Volition by Lily Paraday, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, Driven by Kay Bromberg, 
If You Were Here by Jen Lancaster, <laughs> On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves, The Wrath and the Non, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier, A Sweet Haven Summer by Courtney Walsh, The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North, The Ninth Life of Louis Drax by Liz Jensen, The Girl in Six E by Alexandra Torre, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, Poughkeepsie by Deborah Anastasia. Um, Easy by Tamara Weber, Sugar by Deirdre Ryordan Hall, um, and then I have Consequences here again, but I have the box set, so I think I just got them both really super cheap, so I could probably just get rid of this one because I have it in the other one. Um, the Killer Angels by Michael Sahara, Sara, Shara, <laughs> I don't know how to say his last name, Michael Shara, I think that's how you say it, that's fine. Um, not Cool. By Greg Gutfeld. Haven't decided if I'm going to read that yet. Let's Pretend This Never Happened by Jenny Lawson. Where Angels Go by Deborah McComer. Swim, which is a short story by Jennifer Weiner. Um, the Harry Bosch novels, I believe this is the first two by Michael Conley. The God Box by Alex Sanchez. Quickies by Selena Kitt. Nobody Left Behind, which is about um, military dogs, and this is by Terry Crisp and CJ Hearn. 90 Minutes in Heaven by Don Piper and Cecil Murphy. The Face of Betrayal by Liz Wheel and April Henry. The Charm School by Nelson DeMille. The Lust Lizard of Melancholy Cove by Christopher Moore. The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. If Only They Could Talk by Harriet, or I'm sorry, James Harriet. <laughs> I'm starting to read them in order now. Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. A Prayer for Owen Meany by John Irving. 600 Hours of Edward by Greg Lancaster, Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren, Still Missing by Chevy Stevens, and Room by Emma Donahue. And that's it, guys. That is what is on my Kindle. Um, and then this is my homepage where it just shows you the last three books that were either downloaded or opened. So these are kind of the two that I'm doing. These two are both review books, so that's why they kind of look funny. There's no covers. But um, yeah, that's what's on my Kindle right now. So let me know if you guys have read any of these books. Let me know what I should get to ASAP. Um, I love reading on my Kindle, especially at night, because my husband um, works very early in the mornings right now. So I can lay in bed with him when he goes to bed early, and I can still read on my Kindle with the light out without having to interrupt him or anything. So, um, But yeah, let me know um, what you've read, what you've loved, what you didn't love, what I should get to really quick, what, what I should forget about. <laughs> So give me those opinions. I really want them. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.